In this video, I'm going to show you a few ways you can use your TI-30 Access Multi-View Calculator for Unit 5. Okay. So first, here are some examples, adding or subtracting fractions on your calculator. Okay. Uh, let's just look at, well, let's start with this one, basic addition. Okay. So first, hit your fraction button. 15 over 77, use the arrows to move in and out of the fraction, plus 6 over 77, move out of the fraction, and now we hit enter. Okay. Notice it gives us a simplified result. In MathAS, you're also asked for the unsimplified sum. So your first step is to add the numerators, which is 21, keep the denominator. That's unsimplified. Then you simplify your result. So the calculator always simplifies for you. So this is simplified. Okay. Let's try, let's try this improper fraction and mixed number combined. Okay. So first I'll hit fraction 37 over 7. Now I want plus 3 and 1 quarter. So I need to hit the improper fraction button. Okay, and it gives me boxes for the whole number part and the fractional part. Move out of the fraction. Now I hit enter. Okay. They give us our result as a simplified improper fraction. Okay. Depending on the directions, if you need a mixed number answer, you just hit second and this button and it will give you the result as a mixed number. Okay. So second and this button takes you back and forth between improper and mixed numbers. Let's look at the next one. Okay. Uh, here's multiplying fractions on your calculator. Okay. And this is probably what you, you'd expect. I'll just do one of these. Okay. So seven quarters times 10 sevenths. Okay, so just use the fraction button twice. Okay, put the multiplication sign in the middle. Okay, and it will always give you a simplified result. This is, in fact, an improper fraction. If you need a whole number answer, hit second that button, and there's your, I'm sorry, not a whole number answer, a mixed number answer. Uh, hit second and this button, you'll get two and a half. Okay, let's do an example with dividing. Okay, how about dividing two mixed numbers? Okay, so to get a mixed number, start with this. It gives you all three boxes. So two and two thirds. Whoops. Okay, I'm going to delete that three because I accidentally put it there. And I wanted it down in the bottom, so that's a handy button move out of the mixed number. Now I want to hit the division symbol. Now I'm going to divide by one and one third. So I need another mixed number. One and one third. Move outside the mixed number and hit enter. And we actually have a whole number answer which is two. Okay. Let's look at another one. Okay, So signed fractions are going to work just like integers. Okay, uh, let's do this one with negatives and subtraction. So first I have a negative 5 eighths. I'll put my negative outside. Close the parentheses and now I want to subtract. So this is the subtraction button. Negative 1 quarter. Close the parentheses. Okay, and it looks like we have it set up correctly. Hit enter, and there's our result. So they gave us a simplified fraction as an answer. Okay, and now let's just look at one order of operations problem. Okay, so kind of putting it all together. How about this last one right here? Okay, so first we want to square four fifths, and you want to be careful, you want to square the whole fraction. Um, again, to be safe, I would just recommend putting it in the parentheses like you see it here. Okay. I'll close it, and then I'm going to hit the squared button. So notice the squared is around the whole four-fifths, not just the four or the five. So you want to just uh, check on that and be careful of that. Now we're going to subtract. Then it says five times 
in parentheses, we have four fifths again. Okay, so you can't go wrong if you punch it in as you see it, even though some of these parentheses may be unnecessary. And hit enter. It gave us our result as a improper fraction. And that may be fine if you need a mixed number. Remember, just hit this button, those two buttons, and there's the answer as a mixed number. I hope this video helped.